Telstra was actually not only the first 5G operator in Australia, it was actually the first 5G operator in the Southern Hemisphere. This was really enabled through the technology they already had deployed in the network. Since 2015, all the Ericsson radio systems have been upgradable to 5G, which meant Telstra had a great legacy to build on from a 5G perspective. We launched our 5G network last year in May, and what we've done is to continue to push our coverage beyond that. We have launched initially with consumer services, but we are planning the next phase to expand beyond consumer. 5G, with its inherent high speed and low latency, provides superior capability, and can we enable that to improve productivity for those big customers uh, who are looking to optimise their operational costs. Ericsson and Telstra have a long history of innovating together and that partnership's actually delivered in excess of 45 world firsts over the years. One of those was Ericsson's spectrum sharing. What's clever about it is it allows Telstra to operate 4G and 5G simultaneously in the same spectrum. And what's really important is it works in their existing 4G spectrum bands. So what this allows Telstra to do is to move very quickly in offering a 5G coverage service across their whole 4G network layer. The other thing that's coming ahead in probably in the next 12 to 14 months is the auction of millimetre wave spectrum in Australia. That's going to give us access to much higher um, capacity and speeds on 5G. We are working with Ericsson to do some trials of the 5G core network and we're anticipating um, you know, how we could start demonstrating some of the advanced capability such as network slicing. We're really at the very beginning of the journey of 5G and we're really looking forward to a continued partnership and collaboration with Telstra to keep on innovating and delivering new services for them and their customers.